Hey folks, it's Dan from DisneyInfinityCodes.com, and I'm here inside the toy box of Disney Infinity 3.0, checking out the sky domes and terrains from the new 3.0 Disney Infinity, and I am currently on Hoth. This is the Echo Base sky dome and texture, as well as all of the Hoth Echo Base uh, terrain fantasy kind of pieces that you can transform using the texture theme. So I thought we would kind of take a look and run around and get a good look at everything. So the surprise, surprise, Echo Base textures <clears throat> is nothing more than just a bunch of snowy ground and snowy walls. <laughs> There's not a lot of really fancy stuff going on inside the Echo Base. It's just snow on snow on snow, which is fine, you know, for the Echo Base. It's exactly what you would want. You don't think you'd want anything different, right? We come over here to the racetrack piece. You can see that it did not get changed when I was re 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 that. Oh my goodness, come on. Texture. So let's move this over to the echo base. And so here is the awesome Echo Base racetrack, which I think is really, really cool. A nice little pattern kind of metal sheet, which looks pretty rad, I think. Gotta dig that. And so uh, let's go look at all the fantasy terrain pieces that get transformed when you're inside the toy box using the Echo Base theme. So here's the fantasy terrain piece number one. No, I lied. No, I did not lie. Nope, I certainly did. That is Fantasy Terrain Corner number two. Or number one. Over here, sorry, it's hard to keep them all straight because everything kind of turns white with this one. And so <laughs> all my little markers have disappeared. All right, awesome. So here is Fantasy Terrain piece number one. And this is very cool. Nice little ice cave thing going on that you've got uh, here. You can jump up on top of it, which I think is kind of cool. And you, so you've got a nice couple little platforms here, and you have this cool little tunnel here with some with some Echo Base hardware in it, which I think is kind of cool, a nice little touch. Moving over to Echo Base terrain piece number two, get this really awesome little snowy tower, which is another fun little piece. These these are really great for if you you know want to do some kind of awesome outdoor Echo Base kind of toy box build this cool tower it would be pretty rad to use jumping over now to terrain piece number three not all of them are as big and dramatic as you know it's like that one for say this one for instance is the a turret that has not been uh, deployed oh sorry that's not a turret that's not been deployed that's an ATAT -AT footprint that would make a lot more sense. A turret that's not been deployed. Ugh, it's been a long week. So you got a really cool ATAT -AT footprint. I was sitting here thinking, I was like, what in the heck is that? That's definitely like got to be like one of those like uh, satellite dish shooting gun things, but it's not. That's definitely an ATAT -AT footprint. That's really rad. I like that a lot. All right, let's come over here and check out Fantasy Terrain piece number four. Oh, here's that turret thing I was talking about. So Fantasy Terrain piece number four is this really awesome, that, you know, sonar weapon. Look at number Fantasy Terrain piece number five. The last of the Fantasy Terrains before we get into the specialty ones. And you've just got a nice little icy rock. Because, you know, why not just round out all of the awesome Fantasy Terrain pieces with a nice little snowy icy rock? I'm, I'm for it. I'm, I'm, Works for me, I suppose. So let's go look at the Fantasy Train Strips now. So there's Fantasy Train Strip 1 and 2. And so this is pretty cool. you got another kind of snowy, icy, little bit of a kind of cave thing going on there with that. That's kind of awesome. Of course, you can use these inside if, you, you know, if you're building some kind of in, indoor, I mean, using all the the textures, the side texture walls and floors to build some kind of cave. These would be really nice touches for doing that. And let's take a peek at the fantasy strip number two. 
Oh, yep, yeah, flying the right way. Man, it's disorienting, all this white. Which is another cool rock outcropping with another little passageway through it. You can also, I guess, ideally use these set pieces to build yourself a nice little Winter Wonderland toy box, because why not? So there is terrain number, strip number two. Then we'll come over here to Fantasy Corner number one. And this is where they get kind of cool. I like Fantasy Corner number one. Because it's got a nice little crash snow speeder in it. That is smoldering and smoking. Kind of dig that a lot. I think that's pretty cool. That's a cool little set piece. And then finally, Fantasy Terrain Corner number two. And some more little echo base machinery. Which is pretty rad. Gotta like that. So before we go, let's take a look at the uh, Sky Dome for Echo Base. And, you know, brace yourselves for seeing a lot of snow and snow and snow. But what I do like about this Sky Dome is you get a nice view of the shield generators which I think is a nice touch for the landscape. But if you wanted to, with some creative toy box building, you could ideally hide those shield generators and use this as some kind of winter wonderland type of setup. So it's a little dual purpose. You can have a cool Star Wars Echo Base battle. There you go. There are the shield generators. Or you can have a kind of snowy land of fun it's it's up to you the it, it, possibilities are infinite because you know this is disney infinity as always guys thanks for watching visit us at disneyinfinitycodes.com for all your power disc needs and thanks for watching you're the best